Hello everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome once again to this our appointment. This is our assembly, a time that we have to think about God, think about the stories of the gospel, think about the love of Jesus in our lives. Today is the 2nd of February and uh, traditionally this day in the church is called Candlemas. This is a festi- the Christian festival of lights, and it's an opportunity for us towards the latter part of the winter, when days are starting to grow longer. Light is brighter in the sky. Spring is about to approach. To give thanks, thanks for the light, thanks for the life that develops under it. In the past, There were uh, ceremonies in churches, and we still do it here at St. John, where at this time of the year you used to bless all the candles that you have in the church, all of the candles for the next year. So I was roaming about here in St. John, and I found these two candles. Now, this is a very, very tall candle. As you can see, it's not being used. This is a very stompy candle. It's an old one. This is a new candle. This is an old one. It's short, this one. It has burned for a couple of hours. It probably has another ten minutes. And then after that, it will burn completely. And uh, its flame will die and a new light will be needed. It makes me feel a bit like when people grow old. When you're young, you have all your strength. When you grow old, um, I wonder what it feels. It may be, for someone, it might be scary. For someone, it might be sad. For others, it may be um, an achievement. It might bring pride. Um, Some people, some of us, might have lost grandparents, or other elderly people in our lives. But a lot of times, a lot of times, old people bring a lot of joy in our lives, and they have a lot to give. As they grow old, some people regret that time has passed quickly, and their energy are diminished, like, a bit like this old candle, But others may be glad that they can still be able to give light to those around them, just like this candle can still give some light. Well, at Candlemas, we tell, we in the church tell the story of a very, very old man and a very, very young newborn baby. The newborn baby, you guessed it, was Jesus who had just been born at Christmas. The old man was called Simeon. He was gentle, he was kind, he was patient. And Simeon often thought about the past. He remembered God's promises made to his people, Israel. Many years had passed, but there were little signs around him that God's promise to finally bring about the Messiah to Israel and renew and save the people of God. Well, there was very little sign that this promise was being fulfilled anytime soon. Was God not keeping his promise anymore? Well, Simeon's faith kept burning. And even though he was old, and even though he didn't have a lot of light left, he still was burning, just like this little stompy candle is still burning. Simeon often went to the temple to say his prayers, and even though he was growing old and tired, he was faithful, gentle, and patient, and he knew that God 
would keep his promises. One day, although he was very tired, he went to the temple to say his prayers, and that same day, a young couple entered with their new baby. It was Mary and Joseph, and the baby was baby Jesus. They had brought Jesus to the temple to ask God to bless this newborn baby. And they wandered in to say thank you to God for a new birth, for a new beginning. Simeon saw this young couple coming in and went close to them. He asked, what's the name of the baby? They said, his name is Jesus. We brought him to the temple to ask God to bless him. Would you like to hold him? And Simeon looked at this young life, this little baby, this new life, and started cradling him in his arms. I wonder, perhaps you have experienced cradling a newborn baby in your arms. Perhaps you have had a younger brother or a younger sister, and you've picked them up in your arms the very first time. Remember how it felt to look at a new life and welcome a new baby. Well, it was a million times more special for Simeon that day. After all these years, Simeon said, Thank you, God, you have kept your promises. I've seen it with my own eyes. You have sent the Messiah. And then he said to Mary, Your son, your child will be a light to the whole world and will show the whole world the true face of God. Simeon was overjoyed. He had experienced something exciting that day, something new, and that day he would remember it until the rest of his life when the light of faith would still be shining in his heart. Because God had visited his people. God was now walking amongst us as a little baby. God was now with us. So, at Candle Mass, we say thank you for the light to God. But most of all, we say thank you because his light, his presence... He himself has come down to us to be with us. I'm going to say a little prayer, and uh, I wonder if you might be able to join me. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you want to, you're very welcome to join me in prayer. And I will, will conclude with the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Thank you, God. As a candle mass, we give thanks for your light because you have walked with us, you have visited us and lived amongst us as a human being to take us to you. Give us grace to welcome your light and share your light with one another. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a lovely candle mass, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.